Just outside Vanuatu's capital, Port Vila, farmers and food sellers are struggling. Back-to-back -back cyclones Judy and Kevin have wiped out crops and stall holders, such as Margaret Kerry, are concerned about what the coming weeks hold. They've been planning full up crops. My garden was full of crops, but the recent cyclones that came through, Judy and Kevin, they're all damaged, all of them. So I've got no way of making income and I've got no idea when I'll be getting some. Margaret notes that no one is selling food at the market in town. Villagers have long-standing traditions of sharing produce across islands, but it's now believed much of the country's crops have been destroyed. Of what's left, people are pulling vegetables out of the ground so the produce doesn't rot. And the food is expected to last only the next week or two. Distribution is also being hampered by damage to roads, planes and boats. Authorities say about 80% of the country's population has been affected by the twin cyclones, among them an estimated 125,000 children. Charity UNICEF says the situation remains extremely precarious for 58,000 of them, many of whom now have no school to go to. This is our inclusive classroom. The inclusive classroom has been destroyed completely with every resources inside. And uh, we also have other damages around the school, like few verandas are blown off. It's not known when school will resume, as staff wait on directives from authorities. Many residents are still without power, clean water and telecommunications. The Prime Minister says addressing these are the main priorities. International aid is key. Australia's High Commissioner to Vanuatu says the Ministry of Health is assessing the impact to the country's health infrastructure. While the state of emergency has been declared for the next six months, experts believe the impacts of the evil twin cyclones will be felt for much longer. Yvonne Yong, ABC News.